All right, so it's a pretty nasty wet day out here, but I'm in the coastal plain in an area that I have not been all year and I'm pretty excited about it. We're gonna be flipping over junk in between showers of rain and we're just gonna see if we can find any snakes. All right, first snake of the day. Probably the most prized snake in the region. Searched hours and hours. No, I'm just kidding, this is a very common snake down here. It's also in shed. It's so wet out, my lens is fogging up, dude. Wow, don't want to miss any of this. Very nice. <laughs> you can call them back. Old new. Dang. Oop. Double worm snake. That's kind of cool. Pretty cool. Some nice adult worm snakes right here. Healthy pair of them. You can see their funny beady little eyes. Pretty neat. Put them back under their board here. All right, I already know what's under here. Check it out. Almost blends right in. But it's a beautiful little red bellied snake. Down here, they call this a cinnamon phase red bellied snake because it's almost red on the top. I've seen much redder, but it's pretty neat looking. That beautiful red belly. It's pouring out right now. I'm soaked. My camera's soaked, but hey, we're still finding snakes. Look at that. See you later, buddy. Pretty nice. All right, we just flipped a board. Got another worm snake. As you guys may be able to tell, these guys are very common, but still pretty cool. We're gonna put them back. Oh, big worm. Nice. Good enough. Nobody. Check that out. Can't redo the flip clip because it's pretty heavy concrete, but we've got a little king snake right here. Look at that. Sweet. Yeah, as we'll get that, I guess. Look at that. Got a worm snake and a king snake. Back to back. All right, so we'll put the worm snake back and we'll give you guys a better look at the king snake. All right, so check it out. That's awesome. Beautiful little king snake. This is one of our big targets for the day, so we're happy with that. It's a beautiful king snake, kind of classic for the area with nice thin crisp bands. It's a really pretty snake. That's sweet. So this is obviously a very small king snake. This may be hatched last year, I want to say. Could be a yearling. But uh, these guys will get almost five feet long and they love eating other snakes. That's why they call them king snakes. And uh, they also like eating turtle eggs and pretty much anything they can get a hold of. All right, pretty sweet. We're gonna take some pictures and we're gonna let it slither back under the rock we found it under. Exactly where he's going. Sweet. When there's ducks swimming in the road, you know that it is very wet outside. Like a week or so later. Come on. snake. All right, John just spotted this guy. That is an absolutely beautiful box turtle. Look at that, it's glowing. Wonder if that's survived the recent prescribed burn, which is nice. You hear that? 
its shell is like making noises. It's closing tighter. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna leave this right where it is and keep hiking along. All right, folks, it's been a brutally wet day here out in the woods and uh, it's actually getting dark on us. We haven't seen a ton, haven't seen as much as we wanna see, but we are gonna take advantage of the wet conditions tonight and we're gonna hopefully see some really cool tree frogs. So I'll see you guys out there. guys might be able to hear right now but we've got pine barrens tree frogs calling in the background we're trying to sneak up on them see if we can get them all right check this out we'll give this a try <laughs> i'm singing to them and they like it <laughs> All right, so far this is like whack-a-mole. I'm shining around in the bushes here and just running from tree to tree and they are invisible. I'm trying really hard to see one, but they're bright green, so they're, you know, they blend right in. And it sounds like a lot of calling from this area, so I'm gonna keep going. You got one? Really? Crap, I need to cross the swamp. <laughs> all right, the moment you've all been waiting for. Finally, got a Pine Barrens tree frog hanging out right here. They're beautiful. Right on top of this high bush blueberry. And you can see how well they blend in and why we've had such a hard time finding one, I guess. Gorgeous frog. All right, we're gonna leave this one alone and uh, keep looking around for more. Got a cool little frog here. Nice little carpenter frog. These guys are pretty cool. They like to hang out in these like sphagnum moss, acidic bogs out here. So pretty neat. He's a little guy, we're just gonna leave him alone. All right, check this out. We heard this guy calling. It's really late in the season for this species to be calling. This is a New Jersey chorus frog. You see, it looks kind of like a spring peeper, but it's got those cool stripes down the back. And uh, there's lots of chorus frog species all over the country, but here in the mid-Atlantic, one of the species we have is the New Jersey chorus frog. Whoa. Do you see that green fairy shrimp going by? No. Like right in oh, front yeah, of yeah. it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Why is it green? They're all green. Do they have algae on them or something? Yeah, they must. No. Oh, ringnecks. Nice. That's kind of appealing how coiled they are. Mm -hmm. Gotta move them. Pretty nice. Anything else? A little green tiger beetle. No. Oh. <laughs> This is dry. Well, that's nice. Who doesn't like a marbled salamander? Me. I hate them. <laughs> JK. That might be the one I photographed. That's a really, uh, it's a nice male. About a week ago. Pretty cool, we've been doing well with amphibians this, uh, this weekend. Here, we'll put the board all, back all. down. There we go. Oh, little man. I'm zooming. <laughs> Little lady, probably. Who doesn't like a box turtle? These guys are out all over the road today. I already saved one this morning off the highway, and I'm happy to be saving another. You wanna see him? Here you go, buddy. Cement. What, a little yet. black widow? Yeesh! Showed his butt. Or her he, butt, I guess. Are like 50, I think. Really? But Dang. How much they go for? Black, black widow, gotta watch your fingers. Oh. Woo. Another skinker? I don't know, it might be the same 
Little fence lizard. These guys are super, super common, but super cool. See, this is a male. He's got bright breeding colors on him. Look at that shimmery green and blue. Really pretty little guy. I'll let him go right here. My little dude. Put him to sleep. Come on. All right, that's okay. I'm gonna pull off. That's insane. Well, that was a stunning box turtle. I didn't get to talk about him much or show much of him because we kind of held up traffic. He was on a busy road, but we saved him. It's another box turtle on the day. I've saved a couple today, so uh, good stuff. Might just be where that water was, though. Really? No, but it was kind of like... All right, boys, get in there. You think we're gonna see it? Ah, oh, possibly if you want. Nobody's home. Nothing. Wow, interesting. Little red-bellied snake. Uh, possibly. All right, Pee Wee. You go back. Come on. Feed our friends. Yeah, feed <laughs> feed our friends. Oh yeah, that does have a nice head. Did you get a good look at the one on the road? Yeah, dude, he was out with the fire crazy. one. I hope he keeps his head out. He's kind of, he's kind of turtle heading, <laughs> as they say. He looks like a big male. Yeah, definite male. Look at how uh, concave that is. Yeah, he has red eyes, didn't he? Think Bright so. red eyes, yeah, that's definitely a male. Definitely a lot of these guys out today. You can see that this is Pretty cool looking male, really flat shell with frilled edges, really concave bottom of the shell. And he had a pretty face, but he tucked away. And we're gonna put him back where he was hanging out right here and keep hiking around. Well, it has been way, way slower of a day than anticipated, so we'll see if we can scrounge up a buzzer beater a good find, but it's getting tough out here. No, that's a that's a dead great horned owl, or the wing of a great horned owl. It must have died up there, I don't know. Got stuck wedged in the tree maybe or something? Maybe, I mean, we could pop up there and, and look. I don't see, like, the skull might be on the ground. Yeah, there's some feathers. Interesting. That's definitely the weirdest find of the day. I don't know how I spotted that. It blends perfectly in. That's literally in situ. And look at it. Look, it's doing the defensive posture. It's pretty fat. It Small. is fat, but it's puffing up right now. It's like defensive posturing. Whoa, this is a pretty still. snake. Let's see my camera here. Look how beautiful my fingernails are. Hmm. Let me come on, let me get one shot. I just want to get one shot. That's nice. All right, pretty sweet little guy. The sun's really showing off that color. I'm gonna put it back exactly where I found it. It's gonna keep doing what it's doing, and we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. That's got no tunnels whatsoever. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. Fair enough. It's kind of an interesting age tracer. He's got a cool eye, actually. In what way? It's like orange. That's neat. We're just going to leave him where he is. Put the board back down gently. Oh. He's getting antsy. Might just need to spook him. He's a little chewed up on his tail. Look at that. Do you see that? You think those are like lesions or? It look, I don't know. Here, give him a little, another poke so we don't smush him. Whoop, there he goes. That is incredible that you saw that, dude. That's a nice one, too. It's just fresh. Yeah, it hasn't gone through all the, uh, I don't know, tattered up mm -hmm. phases. That's nice. Pretty cool Luna moth. You can see. What the hell is that a loon? I don't know. It sounded like uh, the thing from Up. You know, like the, you ever see Up, the Pixar movie? Damn.
All right, I'm on my way home. It's dark now, and uh, we had our butts absolutely handed to us, or at least what I would consider having our butts handed to us this weekend. It was tough. Didn't find exactly what we were looking for, but highlight, it's gotta be that little king snake. So anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, and hey, subscribe if you're new to the channel.